The clock is ticking as the deadline looms on the billions of dollars of federal COVID relief funding California schools received. Many Kern County schools received large amounts and could be hit the hardest when the funds expire this year. I spoke to administrators at one school district who says they may have figured out a way to stay afloat. California schools gained billions in federal COVID aid, but the money is running out. 63 school districts and charter schools in Kern received funding, but Bakersfield City, Kern High, Panama Buena Vista Union, Delano Union, and Wasco Union school districts received the most aid. Panama Buena Vista's Chantel Stansberry says the aid helped fund summer and tutoring programs. We used to have limited options on what we were able to provide, and COVID really opened the doors for us to um, start expanding the search for different money opportunities for some of our students. Some districts use the money to pay for everything from Wi-Fi, staff salaries, mental health support, to after-school tutoring. If the aid was not invested properly when the funding ends in September, so does what it helped to finance. But Stansberry says not at PVV. USD. We're actually reallocating, so we are not losing any programs that were available for them because of the COVID funding. We did a lot of planning in that time to make sure that we could still provide them for our students and for our staff. The district's funding breaks down to an additional $3,800 per student. Stansberry says if other districts did not take measures to reallocate the funding before it expires, it affects the students. If anything, I think this is a great chance for them to kind of look back at what happened happened, what can be better in the future, what went well for them, and we're all kind of moving at the same pace of trying to uh, tackle the changes in the education environment as it comes. We reached out to the Bakersfield City and Kern High School districts, which received some of the largest amounts of funding. Bakersfield City declined the interview and Kern High did not respond.